The CompTIA A plus certification exam is an entry level IT uh, certification that really teaches you the basics of what you would need to do in a help desk help desk type role. Now, uh, the caveat with all certifications is certifications are not necessary to get into the field, but if you're uh, lacking experience or you're lacking uh, kind of like a formal education. Uh, maybe you don't have a college degree or something you know it certifications are a great way to get into the field and oftentimes will teach you a lot more than a you know formal college degree even would so uh, certifications are great they're relatively cheap at least these CompTIA ones uh, especially if you have access to a student email where you can get a student discount um, so the CompTIA a plus is a great place to start if you're just trying to land your first it job I will say that I got the CompTIA A plus certification uh, almost five years ago at this point. Um, and my thought process back then was I was going to get a help desk job from there, move into a network engineer job, and then from there move into a security role. It didn't end up working out that way, but I am glad that I got the CompTIA A plus because it really does teach you a lot of the basics that I feel like I would have missed out on if I didn't uh, didn't take the certification. So I'm going to kind of talk about three things. The first one being, you know, what is the exam slash certification? Uh, the second one being, you know, do I think it's worth it to take it? And the third one being, uh, if I were to take it now, looking back, uh, what would I do differently from the first time I took it? So if you haven't heard about the CompTIA A+, it really just covers uh, you know, all the basics that you need to get into an IT slash help desk role. And you can kind of read about, you know, all the things that they go over. Uh, people often describe the CompTIA A plus as a mile wide and an inch deep because they cover lots and lots of different uh, technologies and you know, troubleshooting, software troubleshooting, operating systems, hardware, networking. It's a lot of different concepts, but you only really need to know a tiny, tiny bit to, uh, to actually do well on the exam. So as you can see down here, the exam is split up into uh, two different exams. So you have the core one and the core two, and that's actually pretty nice because yes, you have to you know sit down at a testing center for two different exams, but because there's so much uh, content on this exam, having it split up into two different ones really helps you kind of narrow your focus and just study on the material for your first test, pass it, and then study for the second test. So a lot of people are a little intimidated that you have to pass two exams, but uh, it actually works out in your favor. So like any CompTIA certification, the first thing I recommend you do if you're going for this certification or you just want to see what it's about is to just Google the CompTIA uh, certification objectives, right? So in this case, the CompTIA A+ certification objectives. So this is for the core exam number one. So this would be the first exam you're taking. You uh, come to this document. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see this is basically what the exam covers. So 14% of it is going to be about mobile devices, 20% networking, 27% hardware, 12% uh, virtualization and com uh, cloud computing, and then 27% hardware uh, adds up to 100%. So what I really like about CompTIA is they basically give you a checklist of everything you need to know to pass the certification exam. So if you scroll through here, really, as long as you know all of this, uh, you'll pass the exam. So, you know, explain common networking configuration concepts, right? So what is a static IP address? What is a link local IP address? What is DNS? What is a DHCP reservation? You might not know all that, but... The great thing about the CompTIA A plus is you don't necessarily need to know how to configure all these things or, you know, all the different nuances with them. You kind of just need to know what they are, know the definitions, uh, know the difference between, you know, a VPN and a VLAN, right? Two totally separate things. As long as you can basically define them, you should be good. So what I did was I actually printed out uh, this entire document and I went through and kind of crossed out things or checked them off once I felt like I was comfortable enough to, um, to you know, answer a question on them if that were to come up in the exam. So the one thing I will say about the CompTIA A plus is it's a lot of stuff. 
Um, it's a lot of just really understanding the basics. And, you know, honestly, this exam is not, not super fun, um, especially the first part where you're just kind of going through, like, what is Bluetooth? What is Wi-Fi? How is that different from cellular? Like, that's not really, you know, interesting content, but it is really important to get a good foundation. So that's why I think that this exam was so helpful for me in uh, college, because A, I didn't really know what I wanted to go into, and B, it gives you a really good idea of kind of the different areas of uh, IT, whether that's hardware, software, security, networking. Um, it really gives you a good overview. So again, not the most riveting content, but uh, pretty important to learn uh, regardless. So the next thing I want to talk about is, you know, how did I study for it? Um, initially, I found Professor Messer, which is a great resource. As you can see, if you come here, uh, he has free uh, videos that you can just go through and watch at your own pace. You know, section one, laptop hardware, you just click on it. You don't have to log in or anything and you can one that works. You can watch all his videos and learn the content this way. I will say Professor Messer is a little a little dry. He has all the information there that you need to pass the certification exam, but uh, it is really, really dry. And if you're kind of new to IT and you need a a more uh, simple and uh, uh, more broken down explanation rather than just reading off of slides, I definitely recommend uh, Mike Myers. I also used him to uh, study for my certification exams. Uh, this is on Udemy. Don't pay any attention to this, you know, uh, uh, $120 price tag. I don't know how Udemy works, but basically they they give huge sales every, you know, week where it will be, you know, 20 bucks maybe. So chances are if you if you come to this uh, site, you'll see it, you know, listed for 20 bucks. If not, just come back. Uh, don't pay this, you know, 120 um, but Mike Myers is really great because he also has uh, all the information you need to pass the exams, but his videos are a little bit more uh, broken down. He explains things using, uh, you know, really fun analogies, and his videos are a bit more silly. So if, you know, the dry uh, reading off of PowerPoint slides isn't your thing, then uh, definitely check out Mike Myers. Uh, the other thing that I used for my certification exam is uh, Mike Myers has a book on the CompTIA A+. Plus. Um, I went through the book. Honestly, I don't think I would do that again if uh, I were starting from scratch just because uh, it took a long time. But I will say if there are areas where you feel like you need to brush up on, like say, for example, you're not too great at, uh, you know, explaining the essentials of networking, Getting that book and just going through that chapter is is pretty useful. So if you're someone who can, you know, sit down, you know, get some coffee and read through a textbook, I think uh, you should go for it. But uh, it's definitely not uh, essential for passing the certification exam. Uh, with that being said, I think that the A-plus certification is a great entry point to uh, security, especially if you are uh, in college or you uh, decide not to go to college or whatever the case may be, if you're just trying to get your, your first job in security, uh, I definitely recommend the A+, even five years later. Um, while it didn't personally help me, you know, get a job because I started kind of in security, not in help desk, um, I'm really, really glad that I took this exam because of all the, all the uh, core concepts that it taught.